at the recent ICJ hearing. Israel defending, he said that Israel is not committing genocide. I might ask, how is that proven? He said that Israel is doing everything it can to provide humanitarian relief efforts to Gaza. Who would buy that coming from a Zionist's mouth? First, COGAT manages a mechanism by which it maintains an up-to-date picture of the needs in Gaza. It does this with the UN, other international organizations, and states whose representatives sit in COGAT's offices. COGAT uses this monitoring to help donor states and organizations prioritize their aid efforts to fit the evolving situation on the ground. Israel is not providing humanitarian relief to Gaza. They are doing everything they can to not provide them with the aid. And how do I know this? You might ask again, comment again. It's because they just won't shut up. We're trying to stop the trucks from going through Karim Shalom. Federal territory should not be used to help our enemies. We are not friends with the Gazans. We are our enemy. You don't help the enemy. I mean, to Israel, I would say, why don't you just shut up? The Jews should have learned something from Hitler, given that the Nazis have taught them a lesson in genocide, genocide 101. And over here, you have people that just won't shut up, from prime minister to the defense minister to the soldiers to the settlers. They just post candidly on social media, their TikTok videos, you know, their IDF soldiers dancing around in the now flatted Gaza. And to make things worse, the Western nations have completely and utterly stripped UN of its funds. And why? Why did the West do that? Why did those nine countries, UK, USA, Australia, Scotland, and on and on, why did they just bar funds from UN? You might ask why. It's because Israel accused the UNRWA staff, the Palestinian branch, their staff members to off collaborating with Hamas on October the 7th and on that allegation those nine western countries have stripped UN of its funds which essentially means the nine western nations have deprived Palestinians of food, water, all the humanitarian efforts they need to survive right now. Literally there was no one helping them, no one other than the UNRWA agency. This was the main thing that was helping them right now in this dire desperate situation and the West just goes ahead and again butchers, butchers and butchers. Palestinians are now put up for slaughter. No one is going to help them now.